Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm doing a reaction video for the Subnautica Below Zero cinematic trailer here. So this just got released today, so we're going to look at this. It's two minutes long, game comes out May 14th, just a heads up. I'll be doing a playthrough of that once it actually launches. And uh, real quick, somebody was asking about it, I did a post about it, I wanted to showcase, I got the mullet in. So harder to see on camera here, but uh, I'm rocking my mullet right now. Uh, started out as a goof uh, with a couple buddies, but I'm going to rock this thing. So hopefully I still have it for the live stream playthrough of the game. But let's get started here. So one, this looks phenomenal. I mean, just the opening image here. And they've always done really, really good on their cinematic trailers. But this is France Lachance here. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name correct. But it's going to open with him and uh you won't this is really who you're going to see you're not going to see sam or robin in this so unique take on this trailer not showcasing the two main characters here but let's get this started i don't know what this song is either though it sounds really cool got a squid shark sitting in a sea truck <laughs> Uh, Fred here isn't having a good day. So interesting there. So using the repair tool, but this, you get to actually see the patch, right? Where he had to actually patch that, which in the game, that's not the case. You just patch it up and it looks exactly the same, but that looked really, really cool. And got a sea monkey taking his tool, of course. Cuttlefish, right? <laughs> so that looks really good too. So overall, uh, Fred is not having a good time so far on 43 is it 4346B? 4356B? I'm already forgetting the name of the planet. Let's see here. Uh, can't tell what style of suit that is. It just looks like the regular one he had on. We have flares, PDA. Looks like we have med kits, boots, water. And then, right there, keep calm poster. So I believe this was a piece of fan art that they actually had submitted. If it wasn't on Discord, it was somewhere else. And then they took it and put it in game which is really cool. And there's a bunch of other posters like that in game as well. View of the surface, nice and cold. And so now we have the cold suit, right? Oh, so that probably was the cold suit. Yeah, it looks just like that. So we have the cold suit in there. So pick that up. He's heading out now. So trying to get a read on where he's at though, because this doesn't look like this is any place in game. I mean, it looks similar to other places, but it looks like you have like the Arctic spires in the background. And then there's the building that he's heading towards. So yeah, this just looks like a, on a culmination of different locations. So it just looks really cool. And he's hurting. <laughs> we have a beacon. And now a snow stalker. Music has changed. Barely makes it out of the way. And so now just looking at these, I mean, they look great, but looking at the behavior, how smooth it is and things like that. And Fred's got to get out of here. I love the glow that they have that blue glow. Whoa. And now he has fallen down a pit. We see the glow of the heat fruit. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> Which, that's what I was thinking the second he fell down. I was like, all right, this has got to be. Now look at this. This is different also. So it's not encased in a huge wall of ice. This is actually like partially covered. That looks way different. Right now, the sides look pretty similar, but yeah, this doesn't look the same at all. Like with that wall, I actually really like this. So it's 
half exposed with the ice here. And of course it looks great. And you have the, uh, where they postules, pustules all over it, right? So you can actually see that it has the Cara bacteria on it. Oh, that was it. I'm finishing out. And there we go. So 514, 2021, we get to see the cover, which the Xbox, PlayStation, well, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4. Those covers are one set thing, which it looks like it's showing what the bottom portion of that image. But the Switch one, it's split because you get the two games. Now it's 60 bucks, but you get Subnautica and Below Zero with it, which is the price because they're both typically individually $30. So I'm um, excited to actually try that out because a uh, month after this launches, I actually am going to be traveling. So I get to take the Switch around. But I think the trailer was awesome. Different take, though. Let me know what you guys think. Should they have included Sam and Robin in this? Because right now you don't know. I mean, looking at the cover here, you see that it's a different character. But should they have included them or not? It's almost like a a prequel, right? It's events leading up to the game here. Um, just highlighting a completely different character, letting uh, Fred kind of shine with this and showing uh, his day-to-day, -day, which is really, really rough um, on the planet here. Um, but that's going to be it for this one. I thought the trailer looked great, as always. Um, I don't know. I, I actually, I like the notion of just highlighting a different character, but I also think that maybe it, it potentially is confusing for some people that don't know much about the game, because then you hop in and you're a completely different character. You'll find out information about Fred down the road, but like I said, it may be confusing for some people, but look-wise, what they showed, the dangers that you're going to face both below the water and above the water, showcasing really quick the frozen Leviathan, so you know that, hey, you're going to have to find that, right? That's going to be in the game, I think, is a good way to go about showcasing the different things that this game has to offer. Kind of limited on the biomes, though, right? So we saw what? uh twisty bridges or like the um it's not the kelp caves it's like right above the kelp caves right but it's kind of that same area where we're seeing um the twisty bridges kind of meld towards the kelp caves and the areas above it and then showcasing more of the glacial basin you kind of saw the Arctic Spires in the background and then showing the frozen Leviathan there, though. So there's a lot more to explore in the game. Just a quick snippet of it. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was good, man. Like I said, look wise, especially compared to the first trailer. Remember the first trailer for the first game, which was detailed, but that took it up a notch. So um, that's going to be it for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll have a link for this video so you guys can watch it over and over if you want to. Maybe find some other details that I missed. But that's going to be it for this one, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.